Hi, my name is Muhammad Omar, and this video is part of Microsoft Visual Studio Application Lifecycle Management Hands-On Labs, brought to you by Microsoft. In this lab, you will be introduced to the branching and merging visualization support in Visual Studio Team Foundation Server 2012. This support makes it much easier to understand a solution branch hierarchy and to propagate change during the merge process. In order to complete this lab, you will need the Visual Studio 2012 virtual machine provided by Microsoft. Please use the following link to download it. In this lab, we will be, we'll be talking about two exercises. Working with Team Foundation Server Code Branches, Branching and Merging visu Visualization. Exercise 1. Working with Team Foundation Server Code Branches. In this exercise, you will learn about some of the code branching features in Team Foundation Server and how to open a solution that corresponds to a specific code branch. In addition, this exercise will serve as a setup for a scenario where production code needs to be updated and the changes ultimately merge it through active branches in the system. So let's log into the virtual machine. Note that the password for the virtual machine for all the users are B, capital B, number 2, SS, W, 0, RD. Let's start by opening Visual Studio 2012. We can do it through two ways. The first way is by clicking Start menu, All Programs, Microsoft Visual Studio 2012, and choosing Visual Studio 2012. Or you can just click the link provided in the taskbar. Let's start by opening Source Control Explorer window. From View, Other Windows, Source Control Explorer. Note that the Fabricant Fiber solution contains a main code base under Main, a development code base under Development, Dev, as well as, as release branches and releases. Branches are first class objects that are represented with their own icon in Source Control Explorer. Let's right click the release one branch, then choose Advanced Properties. The so property window provides general details like the version and description, the hierarchical relationships to other branches and permissions. Let's click cancel. Now let, let's, let's, let's click on the Fabricant Fiber call center to open the solution by clicking on the file fabricantfiber.callcenter.sln solution file. Double click on that, solution will open. <clears throat> now let's try to rebuild the solution by clicking build from the build menu rebuild solutions in order to make sure that the fabric and fiber the web is, is, is set as the startup project let's right click on the fabric and fiber the web and click set a startup project. Now let's try to launch the project. 
by pressing Ctrl F5. Now that the page is up and running, let's imagine a scenario where the release one branch represents the code that's currently running on the production web server. Management has decided that the non-functional links here under the profile section at the, left, at the left of the page should be removed as soon as possible. We have decided to fast track this change by making the update directly to the release one branch. Later you will see how we can merge this change back to the dev branch so that it becomes a part of the changes we are working on for the next release. Let's close Internet Explorer for now. Get back to Visual Studio. Our first task is to update the release one branch and deploy the changes to production web server. So let's go to the Solution Explorer, expand fabric and fiber dot web, views, share, and double click on the profile dot cs html, which contain the links. Now let's click, select all these links. Now let's comment that by clicking Ctrl K, Ctrl C. Save that. And now let's launch the solution again. For the, for the purposes of this demonstration, assume that at this point we have successfully deployed the update change to the production server. Note that the links disappeared. Now let's close Internet Explorer again and get back to Visual Studio. Now let's open Bending Change window from View, Other Windows, Bending Changes. Now we need to comment this to check in this uh, change set. Let's comment it first. In the comment field, let's type removed none functional links from profile. Now let's click check in. Exercise 2, branching and merging visualization. In this exercise, you will learn how to visualize and track change sets while merging the change that you made in the previous exercise. Let's get back to Visual Studio. In Source Control Explorer, let's right click the Release 1 branch and click on View History. Please be advised that your change set number may be different. Right click on the first change set and click Track Change Set. In select branches window, release one will already be checked as you can see. We should, che we should check the, the div 2, the div branch 2. Now click visualize. The visualization shows us that the change set has been applied to, rele to release one, but not to div. It also makes clear that in order to merge our changes into div, we will need to merge with the main branch first. To perform the, the merge of the change set and the main branch, drag the green node into the main node. That, this will load the, the source control merge wizard. Note that the source branch is release one and the target branch is main. Click next. Note the change set is 23. That may be different than yours. Click finish. After the merge is complete, open the mending change window if it's not open. Note that the, the, the profile.chtml has changed its status for the main code branch and is now merge edit. The merge process is complete, but we still need to check in the change. Let's give the change the comment.
Now click chicken. Now let's get back to tracking change set. Click rerun button to generate an updated view. Now click visualize. Note that the current state showing merged update. Next, merge the change set from the main branch with the div branch in the same manner as before by dragging the main node into the div node. Now click next, finish. Now that the merge is complete, let's give a comment to this change too. Click check in. Let's get back to tracking change set and click rerun. Visualize. This is the final state showing that change set was merged to all the branches. There is another useful view which is the timeline tracking view. Let's select that by clicking the timeline tracking button. This shows the order in which the original change set was merged with, the, with other branches. Another way is to annotate the change set file. Let's get back to the source control explorer. Choose views, shared, and right click profile.cshtml and click annotate. Scroll to the bottom of the annotated profile.cshtml file and locate the HTML that you have previously commented. In the annotation column on the left hand side, if you hover over the, if you mouse over the recent change set, it should show the date and the guest virtual machine. Note that the change set path and comment refer to the reduction branch where the changes were originally made, even though we annotated the file from the, the div branch. This is the end of the branching and merging hands-on lab. Thank you for watching.